Hey everybody, welcome to Technical. I do have a build vlog coming up next as promised in my last video, but I wanted to kind of squeeze this one in there because I think that this topic has been much rehashed over the years and no one's actually addressed it with real physical evidence. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And that question is, do you need isopropyl alcohol when cleaning your CPU? Is it necessary? Is it important? Does it make a huge difference? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see here, I've got my little test bench set up with my cardboard box, my trusty AX860i power supply, and H77M-D3H motherboard with an i5-3470 socketed into it. Everything has been left at stock, got 8 gigs of RAM to go with it, and a 60 gigabyte SSD off which to boot Windows, and run me some Prime 9526, which is exactly what I'll be doing to stress the CPU during testing. How I'm going to conduct testing is as follows. I am going to start by applying a fresh goop of thermal paste. I am then going to run Prime95 for 10 minutes, heat up the CPU, take a plateau temperature reading, and then I am going to remove the stock cooler, clean off the thermal paste with isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth, and then reapply and repeat the process five times. For a second series of tests, I'm going to do everything the same, except I am only going to use the microfiber cloth dry to clean off the CPU and reapply as I normally would. I'm going to do my best to use the same amount of thermal paste each time. And for the record, the thermal paste I will be using is Cooler Master's Icy Fusion. It's the thing that you can buy in a giant tub and it's pretty middle of the road. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So for the record, the reason that I am employing the stock cooler in this test and the hardware that I chose is because none of that really matters. The stock cooler is there because it will probably perform the worst overall and provide the widest temperature variance between maximum and idle temperatures, which is exactly what we want to see if we can spot a difference. And the rest of the hardware is kind of inconsequential. All that we need to do is heat it up, make sure the testing methodology is repeated the same all 10 times we conduct the test and see how it comes out. Anyway, let's flip back to Desk Jeff and see what the results look like. All right, so yeah, not really much to say about what happened. First five tests that included the isopropyl alcohol use, 61, 61, 61, 62, and 61 degrees for an average of 61.2 degrees across all five tests. As for the tests where isopropyl alcohol was forewent, foregone, foredone, for none, uh, the results were 61, 61, 62, 61, and 61 for an average of 61.2 degrees. Both of those, by the way, were load temperatures. Prime Money 5 run for approximately 10 to 15 minutes on an open air test bench otherwise known as a cardboard box. Long story short, why do people recommend that you clean your CPUs with isopropyl alcohol? Well, largely it's for older caked on thermal paste that's been sitting in cold temperatures for a while uh, when it's really hard and just sort of caked on there. Isopropyl alcohol will help loosen it and liquefy it. That's one use for it. But in terms of getting an optimal pasting and temperature and performance, totally useless. Doesn't matter. If you do what I do where you're just sort of like always testing CPUs, swapping out motherboards, and you just gotta move around a stock cooler a lot of times, don't bother whipping out the alcohol. It doesn't matter. And even if you're putting together a build for yourself and you don't happen to have any on hand, don't sweat it. Try to clean off both surfaces as best you can with a microfiber cloth. Make sure there's no residue left of course apply your thermal paste and you'll be fine anyway i hope you enjoyed this little tidbit of a video and you get some useful information out of it and i hope it puts to rest a lot of the uh, chatter about isopropyl alcohol whether you should use 70 percent or 99 percent, it doesn't matter it don't fucking matter it never fucking mattered does matter system builders like me who have done thousands of these things could tell you that but now it's been proven with hard science and a sped up video. Anyway, I think we'll call it one a video at OFA on Twitter. Please follow me for updates. I'll keep you guys posted as to when new videos will be uploaded. And thanks for watching.